Thank you. My name is Tony Fulton. I represent District 29 in the Nebraska Legislature. Um, well, welcome to Nebraska. I've been on the other end of these hearings and I can understand that sometimes it's hard to pay attention for long periods of time, but I simply ask you to pay heed to the people of Nebraska, for in them, I believe, resides a great deal of wisdom, and pay heed to the land of Nebraska, particularly the Sand Hills, for there is no other place on earth like it. My, the position I'm espousing here, I'd like the route of this pipeline to be moved, and to that end, I would like to see the permit denied. Now, there have been good reasons given in favor of this pipeline. And I have to say that if I were asked whether I'm in favor of this pipeline, I would say that I am. There will be jobs, and certainly I understand the people who are dressed in orange are here for the jobs. And in these trying economic times, brother, I hear you. They want jobs for their families, and we want jobs for Nebraskans. And to that end, I'm thankful for this pipeline. We'd like to see We'd like to see our energy sources come from friends rather than from enemies, and certainly Canada is a friend. I recognize that and I support it, and therefore I'm grateful for this pipeline. There's also this reality I've not heard mentioned yet, and that is revenues that will come to our great state. Canadian dollars paying Nebraska taxes, I'm all in favor of that. I'm thankful, therefore, for this pipeline. I simply have concern with this route. And the way that state and federal governments interact, here is an opportunity and I feel an obligation and responsibility therefore to ask you to deny this, this permit. There's something that's important to point out and that is that TransCanada has a position. They are the prime mover of this project. This is not to impugn their engineers or scientists, but what I'm going to say is that they are going to advocate for this route. They're going to say that it is safe that has been engineered. And again, they may well believe that, but recognize that there are different positions in this debate and that it is the responsibility of elected officials and public officials indeed to, to ferret out that which is true from which is not true and to recognize the good intentions and uh, what the people want. Now, I first took note of this issue when I read in our local newspaper that TransCanada was proposing to operate this pipeline at a higher pressure while simultaneously building the pipe with thinner material, with, with less pipe, with thinner uh, wall, wall thickness. My own background personally is in the engineering profession, indeed in the energy sector, working with oil and gas companies. And this put off a red flag in my mind. This was about a year ago. And I think I was like a number of Nebraskans content to allow this to play out. I figured if you're gonna operate at a higher pressure with lower min wall thickness in your pipe, someone's going to raise a red flag. Indeed, no one did. And so I fired off a letter to Secretary Clinton, and I asked to speak with TransCanada's engineers, and to their credit, they allowed me that opportunity. Now, they never did go forward with that proposal. Here is an example of science and sound engineering recognizing and yielding to prudence as a show of deference and respect to the along and concern of the people. I'm certain that there was good, sound engineering reason to propose higher pressures with thinner pipe. Indeed, the engineers I spoke to indicated that this would be fine. Yet, that proposal was abandoned, I, I presume out of deference and respect to the concern of the people. President Obama, Secretary Clinton, please hear the sincere and genuine concern of an entire people. The place between extremes, that elusive middle ground in politics, the path of prudence, does not pass through the Nebraska Sandhills. <laughs> Out of respect for time and the respect of the time of others, I simply ask that this permit, de permit be denied such that the route of this pipeline may be reconsidered. Thank you. Thank you.